Imagine this, you wake up in the morning and you look into the mirror and you don't recognize the face staring back at you. That's me without my glasses. I got my first pair when I was nine years old and until I put them on, I don't feel like I'm Chris Velasco. Our glasses are getting smarter and it doesn't feel like these changes are going to stop. And slowly I can feel myself changing too. It sounds weird, I know, but let me walk you through three pairs of smart glasses that have started to change the way I live my life. And it starts in all places in the mountains above Rwanda. Last year was big for me. I got married and before long, my wife and I were flying to Rwanda to kick off our honeymoon. And I had an enormous camera with me so I could take like honestly way too many pictures of animals. Everything I captured with that real camera turned out great, but it was only afterwards that I realized I had poured so much energy into taking photos because I, I guess I wanted someone to be impressed by them when it was all over. It all felt a little performative, like look what I did. I think that's part of the reason why I haven't really gone back to look at any of these photos. What I have gone to look back on though are all of the photos and the videos that I captured wearing my Meta Ray-Ban sunglasses. Hi. Hi. By every measure, the stuff that came out of these glasses were objectively worse than what I got with the Sony full frame deal I was using for animal photos. But I guess that's why they stick with me. They're the most raw, most true to life record I have of everything that happened. And the moment that I really started feeling thankful was when we hiked up into the Virunga Mountains and came face to face with a gorilla. This happened pretty fast and our guides gave us very strict advice about what to do in situations like these. You're supposed to make low grumbly noises and keep your hands down, slowly back away, that kind of thing. It didn't feel like a great idea to put my phone in this dude's face, but I felt like I could just get away with clicking a button on my glasses. And I got this amazing first person memory that kind of dominates my recollection. But I can't wear sunglasses 24 seven. So I turned to another pair of smart glasses for kind of everyday use. And, and those surprised me too in ways that I really didn't see coming. These are the Even G1 smart glasses from a company called Even Realities. And they're probably the most sophisticated glasses I've worn through this whole journey. I'm mostly in it for the screen. Screens might be a strong word. These are technically waveguides. And there's a tiny set of projectors at the front of each of these arms that beam light into them. They're there so you can read your notifications and your stock quotes and get responses from an AI chatbot. But there is no cool way to say this. So I'm just going to say it. I often use these screens to leave myself little encouraging notes to get through the day. <laughs> I've got a selection of four or five loaded into the glasses and I can tap the little touchpad back here to find just the right one I need to see at any given moment. So look, I used to play with phones professionally for the internet, and it was a great time. Never in my life did I think I would work at a place like the Washington Post with some of the smartest, most talented people I have ever met. The imposter syndrome is still real, and it is genuinely nice to get a little hit of positivity and self-encouragement throughout my day. I could talk to you about feelings for literally ever, but we don't have time for that. If I'm being honest, there are two other things I use these glasses for a lot. The first is a built-in teleprompter, which I'm actually not using. I haven't used it this entire time. I learned my lines. But it is genuinely really good for doing long scripted videos, kind of like these. The second is turn-by-turn -turn directions. You use the app on your phone to set your destination, and you get these helpful visual indicators in front of your face to make sure you're headed the right way. It is no match for Google Maps, but it's helpful enough. But really, I'm in it for these little notes of affirmation. I, uh, look, let's just talk about this. It took most of my life to realize the importance of being nice to yourself. And as weird as it is to admit, these glasses really helped me with that. Something else it took most of my life to learn was that you've got to take care of your hearing. More and more, you may find yourself that person at a party or out in a bar, having to ask the people you're with to repeat what they just said, and it sucks. It sucks so much, in fact, that I had to fly to New York a few months ago to pick up a pair of smart glasses I thought might help. These are the hearing glasses from a company called Nuance Audio, and at $1,200 before prescription lenses, 
they are by far the most expensive smart glasses I've tested. But they might also be the most valuable personally because they're as much a pair of hearing aids as they are glasses. You've got a set of specially tuned microphones and speakers built into these really normal looking frames. And depending on what you need, they can amplify audio just in front of you or all around. After speaking to audiologists and people with hearing aids, it's become pretty clear that there is a stigma for people against hearing aids. No one wants to sort of look old and like they need help. That's the beauty of these glasses. You can more fully engage with the world around you without looking like you need any assistance at all. Look, I think big tech is coming for our glasses whether we're ready for it or not. What I think is important though is not putting too much stock in every promise these companies make. As I've said, these glasses are perfect. They're unlikely to ever be perfect. Not everything is gonna work, but you don't need everything to work. Find the one or two things that really matter and stick to it.